My Lords, I too wish to congratulate my friend Baroness Deitch on securing this important debate and for her brilliant speech. Everyone agrees that freedom of speech is essential for a functioning democracy. Unfortunately, it means different things to different people. To me, it's the right to criticize the actions of those in authority, governments, and powerful institutions, including religions and religious authority. Freedom of speech does not carry a right to gratuitously offend. Actions deliberately causing fear and distress are rightly against the law. While we should all uphold true freedom of speech, we also need to be on guard to ensure that it's not used as a force to harm or silence the weak and vulnerable. While I have real concerns about the banning of speakers who sometimes challenge conventional thinking, my main concern today is about the treatment of religion and religious expression in universities. Despite government programs like PREVENT, extremist preachers all too frequently use freedom of speech to incite hatred against others or to undermine democratic institutions or the rights and beliefs of others. At the same time, they are the first to react with bluster and threat to criticism of their actions. University authorities seem to be loath to act against such people. Today, raising concerns about the behavior of some young Muslims who bring disgrace to their faith carries the risk of being labeled as Islamophobic. The smear Islamophobia is often used to stifle even the mildest criticism. Another argument advanced by both people of religion and, and others in secular society is that religion is a personal matter and therefore beyond questioning and criticism. I strongly disagree with this view. My lords, religion is not some sort of in endangered way of life that excludes it from legitimate questioning and debate. If religions claim to hold eternal truths and the solution to many of the ills in society, they must open themselves up to robust challenge and questioning. Freedom of speech must include the right to challenge without fears of instant smears of anti-Semitism or Islamophobia or any other religious phobia. As I see, as a Sikh, I believe, particularly now, religion should allow and encourage the querying of their teachings on social issues, which to some may seem to be out of kilter with accepted norms, and at times even out of kilter with common sense. In speaking to Sikhs and other faith groups, I always say that if a practice seems to go against common sense, it must be challenged in places of worship, universities, and other walks of life. Universities are ideal places to conduct discussions affecting society. It can and should be probing, but it must be conducted in courteous terms and never to demean or belittle.